White violence against black people is rare. Rarer still when you compare it to black on white violence, which is easy to find. But even when, but when it does happen, we sure as hell know about it. I mean, there was this guy down in Kentucky a few months ago. You know, he shot and killed a couple of old black people. That was major headlines in the New York Times and papers all around the country. Down in Austin, the New York Times again weighs in with the fact that, well, this lady doesn't like living in Austin because, well, white people are very, very nasty people to her down there. And uh, here's another story up in New York about some people that had some kind of road road rage thing going on with some, with some black people. That became a major headline, major news story. It's all in the headlines. Racial slurs, white racism, blah, blah, blah. Flash forward up to Philadelphia a day or two ago, a suburb of Philly across the river in New Jersey. A couple of white girls, three, uh, two white girls and a biracial girl in the parking lot. A couple of the lovely ladies come out and start older, bigger, all, all lovely ladies beat the crap out of them in the parking lot. The reporter can't figure out what just happened. The lovely ladies that were beating the hell out of those white girls said, you're too comfortable, you're white, you're white, you're white, you're white. You're all these kind of, all these racial remarks being made. And the reporter's going, well, we really don't know what happened. Maybe it was over a parking space. Good Lord, let's take a look at that story. A day at the mall turned violent for a group of teens in New Jersey after they were attacked, they say, by adults outside the Deptford Mall. Action News reporter John Rowland spoke to the teenagers earlier today. He joins us live in Deptford with details tonight. John. Hi, Monica. Well, the three victims, all 18 years old, have known each other for years. The incident may have been about a mall parking spot, but that's not certain. What is clear, the three say, is that the attack came from out of the blue. The older woman hit me. The older woman hit you. Hit you in... in, in a straight, like, open palm, like, smack, smack. Across your face. Right across the face. Around the kitchen table, the three okay. victims described what they say was several minutes of unprovoked assault Friday night. So right after she had hit Allie, I heard her say this getting hit too and i just i had just looked over to like i was just like what is going on and straight like smacked in the face the incident in a mall parking spot began minutes before like, taylor like mcfadden was at the wheel of her car her friends just outside having a smoke i noticed the car in my rearview mirror like i guess waiting for my spot so, yeah. um so i had my passenger window down so i said to Allie, i said let them know that i'm not pulling out yet because so they don't have to wait the other car parked a few slots away but apparently two women who got out were angry. There were words, then fists. Taylor called 911 and got out to help Allie. I was like, stop, like, get off of her. And I was, like, trying to tell the cops, like, to just hurry up. And, like, someone grabbed my face and, like, pushed my face back. And then I got hit on the right side of my face. Basically, I'm just trying to protect my face. They're reaching around my arms, smacking me in the face. Next thing you know, the heavier, younger one, uh, kicks me with all her force in the face. All three have been diagnosed with concussions. Red marks and early bruising have dissipated. The girls say their assailants were African American. Troubling for Taylor, who is biracial, was what one attacker repeatedly said. You dumb white are way too comfortable. You white are just too comfortable. And I looked at her and I was like, ma'am, like, I'm not even white. And she was like, I'm not talking to you. Well, the girls say a number of bystanders did come to their aid. The assailants fled, but not before Taylor was able to get at least a good partial plate number on uh, that car. It was an aging white Pontiac. Initially, the girls had been worried that the police would not follow up on the crime, but the department uh, here in Deptford, the Deptford Police Department said a detective has been assigned to the incident. What is it going to take for these reporters to figure out there's an enormous amount of black and white hostility and violence in this country in places like Philadelphia. Guy wrote a story about it for a magazine, Philadelphia magazine, called Being White in Philadelphia. Talked about how white people always had their head on a swivel, always exposed to this, to this constant threat of black and white violence. Man, bl the black mayor of Philly went crazy. He threatened to send their magazine to the Philly Human Rights Commission and they had a big meeting about it, and uh, the author and the publisher of the magazine kind of put their tail, twixt their legs, and said, Oh, my God, we didn't mean to offend anybody. Please, sir, I want some more. I hate it when people apologize for telling the truth. Mostly because 
telling the truth about the level of black on white crime, violence, mayhem, hostility, and violence, even murder, well, that makes the black kids angry.